All right, so in this video, we're comparing these pairs of fractions to find out if they're equal, and if not, which one's larger. So maybe press pause and try these out, and then press play when you're ready to work together. Okay, so when your denominators are equal, here we have twelfths, all we have to do is look at the numerator to find out what's larger. So here, this you say is you have seven one-twelfths, which has to be more than three of the same, three one-twelfths. So if the denominators are equal, it's easy to compare. The same is true in numerators. Here, 5 6 has to be larger than 5 eighths. And I know that so quickly because our two numerators are equal. The idea is that if I have some shape and I cut it up into 5 of sixths, that's what this is saying, 5 6, so I cut it up in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pieces, then I have to take the same rectangle and cut it into eight pieces. Try to get the rectangles the same so you can see the comparison here. So the next one, next one we're gonna cut it up into eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now you don't have to draw this each time. There's intuition here. If you take, let's say a cake and you cut it for six people, well each, per, each slice will be bigger than if you cut the same cake for eight people. That's, of course, assuming every slice is the same. But here, if you take 5 sixths, so that would shade us into here. All right. Oops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 5 sixths. 5 eighths is much smaller. 2, 3, 4, 5. So if the numerators are equal, in fact, the smaller denominator makes the bigger number. Now, in the next one, we can use some some wishful thinking, and I don't have equal denominators here, but I wish I did. So if I multiply 7 by 2 and 3 by 2, I can get 6 over 14. I scale this fraction up, they're equal. So 6 out of 14, and look over here, we have another 6 out of 14. These are equal fractions. Now in the last one, um, here, this is a little bit more difficult to compare, we, so we need to use some wishful thinking. Let's get the denominators equal. So um, here, I would multiply 4 over 5 by 8 over 8. I basically look at this denominator here and multiply the top of number by that number, the, the 4 and the 5 by that number. So I get 32 over 40. And then I do the same over here. I multiply it by 5 over 5. And what this does, 35 over 40, is get me two fractions with the same denominator. So all you have to do is multiply each denominator, denominator by the other, and this will happen. And 35 fortieths must be bigger than 32 fortieths. Uh, another way to reason this is some students will say, okay, well, 4 out of 5, it's missing 1 fifth. And what they might mean by that is it's a fifth, 1 fifth less than 1. And here, 7 eighths, that's 1 eighth less than 1. So they know an eighth is smaller than a fifth. So this is only an eighth less than one. So it's closer to one and must be bigger. This is a fifth less than one. It's further from one. And that's another way of looking at this kind of problem. But there are many ways. All right, I hope this helped.